a new attitude towards the way we do business will allow us to achieve sustainability, social justice and prosperity all at the same time. There is one crisis that has not been eclipsed by the COVID pandemic, the climate crisis. We know that our generation could have and should have reacted much earlier to this crisis. Climate change and a massive decline in biodiversity confront humanity with an unprecedented challenge. A challenge we can't ignore. A challenge that requires us to change our enterprise's design fundamentally. A challenge that forces us to start living and doing business in harmony with nature. We owe that to the generations to come. Are we able to change our behavior to find a sustainable response? Personally, I am convinced that it is possible and that one of the keys is a different attitude towards the way we do business. We live in a global economic culture where profit maximization remains the driving force, despite many affirmations to the contrary. But we have already known for a long time that the goal of profit maximization is responsible for the massive damage to the environment as well as the exploitation of millions of people worldwide. How can we redefine economic success? The good news is that we already have the answer. And this answer is associated with a new approach to business ownership. I am speaking out of my personal experience. Almost 20 years ago, I was working in the private equity industry in Munich. The only question that drove our business was if an investment in a company returned profit of 25% or more per year. Earning money primarily for unknown investors had lost sense to me at that time and I was looking for an opportunity to support companies in their development. I became aware of Vala back then. It was an unknown, small company at the foot of the Swabian Alp. I didn't know where that was either at that time. But there was one thing about the company that fascinated me right from the start. The company is wholly owned by a foundation, the Vala Foundation. So I became CFO of Vala and I moved with my wonderful wife to beautiful children, our beloved dog and our beloved tame house rat to Equelden. The special ownership model enables Vala to implement a healing impulse on three levels. Firstly, at product level, with a diverse range of medicines made from medical plants as well as certified natural cosmetic products. Secondly, at environment level, we cultivate our plants biodynamically in our medicinal herbal garden. This enables us to increase the essential humus layer year after year. And thirdly, at social level, our founder Rudolf Hauschka and his companions throughout time did not consider themselves as business owners, but as guardians of an idea. Ever since Wala was founded in the 1930s, doing business for us is first of all a question of being there for the other people and meeting their requirements. In this context, we only regard profit as a means to an end, and not the end itself. Of course, this does not mean that Vala doesn't make profits. On the contrary, profits secure investments into the future, and thus the survival of the company. 
profit in itself is neither good or bad. However, it is more important to ask, how is this profit generated and how is it used? In this regard, the Vala Foundation's statutes stipulate that our operating business is not influenced by any outside parties. There are no family members, no anonymous shareholders and no investors and this will remain the case in the future. All money generated is either invested in the company or paid out to the employees. Many of the people with whom I have discussed the special features of the Vala Foundation model think that we are probably the exception that proves the rule. But this is not the case. Many established companies in various sectors, as well as various startup companies, have found institutional forms which reflect the belief that the economy serves the people and not the other way around. Just to name a few of them, there's Bosch, Alnatura, as well as startup companies like Ecosia, Wild Plastic, and Neue Narrative. They all show us how a new future economy could look like. Today, in Germany, establishing such special forms of corporate ownership is often a complex and lengthy process. Vala, together with already more than a thousand companies, is supporting a broad initiative to change this. Five renowned law professors have drafted a bill which expands the existing German limited liability company law to include the notion of a company with so-called tight assets. Such a company cannot be sold and all profits stay in the company for future investments. Since the creation of the Vala Foundation more than 30 years ago, Vala has experienced a healthy growth rate in sales of more than 7% on average every year. And we have financed this growth without bringing in any investors. We do not need to exploit our environment or our fellow human beings to satisfy customers' needs and enjoy economic success. It is now the time to not only talk about necessary changes, but also to implement them. Vala is proof that it works and has done so for over 80 years.